Hello my champions, Lance here, and I wanted to go over a um, great exercise I use uh, in life coaching or success coaching with others. Um, I call it the traffic light exercise. And so um, let me go ahead and just get into some of the benefits of this. Uh, one, it's quick and easy to use. There's some coaching techniques that can take a little bit more time to go through, but this one's real quick. It's easy. It's simple. Uh, it's something you can use for yourself or something you can use with others or your family. And I'll give you some examples of that later on. Uh, you can use this on a daily basis or uh, as needed. You know, it could be maybe uh, like if you're a student, maybe it's once a semester, a quarter, um, or, you know, something you could do once a month. But uh, what I like about it is it focuses and reinforces things that are working well, that you like, that you want to continue doing. And it also gives you a chance to think about uh, either what's not working well that you want to stop doing or maybe some things you want to start doing and focus on that um, uh, as well. So uh, let's get into how this works. So it's basically uh, if you think of the stop light, there's a red, there's a yellow, there's a green. And so if you think of each of those lights, uh, we'll be asking a question that correlates to that. So um, the first one, the red light question, is what is something you would like to stop or or need to stop doing. Um, and again, with any of these questions, you can kind of rephrase them, but you get the gist of it. And so um, it's something you can ask yourself. Uh, and let's give an example. Let's say you're a student, and let's say um, it's uh, halfway through the semester, and you want to you want to use this as a way to analyze how you're uh, your how effectively you're studying, how effective you are as a student. So it's a question you ask yourself. So what is something you want to stop doing? Um, or need to stop doing and it could be academic related it could be that you realize you know you're studying for four hours at a time without taking a break and those last you know the last hour or two is is really ineffective so you, you decide you know what I need to really stop studying so long without taking a break and so that's maybe something you would write down or make note of um, and, and again you can use this for for anything um, in life, health related, finance, finances and so forth. The next question would be your yellow light question and that is what is something that you would like to start doing or maybe do differently, change the way you're doing it. And again to use the example of a student, um, if you are let's say um, not using flashcards and that's something you realize you know what I should really start using flashcards, I haven't done that yet, um, maybe you want to take them with you to work so when you have a few minutes it's a great way to review for a test or help memorize some information um, so again that could be kind of a response to a question like this and then the next one would be your green light question and so the question here is what is something that has been working well that you want to keep doing so here's a chance to focus on the positive of what is working well what do you like that, that you want to keep doing and uh, again, using this um, student example, um, let's say you're listening to lecture, you're recording the lecture and you're listening to it um, at least once before like a quiz or a test. And you're like thinking how that's working really well for you. So you want to keep doing that. And so that's something you'd make note of. And again, when you're answer answering these questions, you could just think of one thing. You could think of a couple things. Um, it could be as simple or as in-depth as you want to take it there. Um, but the point is really just to go through this and um, let me give you some examples now even. So like with family, um, this is actually a great thing to do. Like let's say you have kids and um, like for instance, uh, uh, Christmas time's coming up here for our family. So something, you know, I'll be asking the kids is kind of using this exercise actually and saying, you know, hey you guys, um, if you think back to last year when we celebrated Christmas, you know, what's something that we did that, you know, you, you, d you either d didn't enjoy or don't want to do again. <laughs> Maybe it was something new we tried. Who knows? Um, and that gives them a chance to, you know, give you some feedback. And then, you know, yellow, the yellow light question. You could ask them, you know, what's something maybe we didn't do last year that you were hoping we'd get to do or that you, you want to do? Or maybe it's doing something differently, you know, changing, changing the way you do it. Um, and then green you know, getting that feedback of, so what's one thing that you really liked last year about Christmas time that you're looking forward to again this year? You know, maybe it's just putting up the Christmas tree and decorating it. Um, so, it's, and, and again, 
you could just get one one thing, a couple things, um, but uh, really great um, way just to, uh, for like I said, family events, you know, you could use this for birthday parties, um, anything you do together as a family. Um, and then of course academic, I used that as an example earlier, being an effective student. You know, this is something you could do on a weekly basis at the end of the week, say, you know, what went really well this last, last week that I want to keep doing? What's something I want to start doing or do differently? What's something I want to stop doing that's not helping me uh, in terms of being a good student? And it could, uh, as another example, it could be, you know, I'm spending too much time on Facebook. You know, I don't need to be spending two hours in the evening. Let's limit it. Let's try eliminate it to an hour this week. Um, health, another example. You know, maybe it's um, you want to, you know, what do you want to stop doing? Um, maybe it's your, you could be working out too much, or maybe you're, you're running and you want to stop, you know, running and do something different. You know, you want to play tennis or, you know, and then yellow, what's something you want to, again, do differently, or what do you want to change? Green, what's working really well for you? Finances, same idea. Um, and you can go through any area of your life. You can go through an activity. So, um, again, this is a simple tool. I love it. Um, wanted to share it with you because I actually use this quite a lot. I love teaching this to people because it's, it's, I think it's really simple to get the concept of. And again, it's something you can use for yourself and it's great to use with others. You know, if you're in a relationship, you know, whether you're married or fiance or whatever it might be, boyfriend, girlfriend even, you know, you could say, hey, you know, what did you think of that last, uh, our last date, our time out, you know, if, if you're married, maybe at a date night and say, you know, what is it about our date nights you want to stop doing? You know, that we, it, it's just not working. And maybe what's something we want to try or do differently? And then what's been working really well? You know, it's a great, um, you don't have to say you're, let's do the stoplight exercise. Again, you can just bring, you, you get the idea now, so you, now you can just kind of bring it into a conversation. Um, and you could also just use two of the questions. Of course, you don't have to stick to it rigidly. Um, so anyway, hope that helps. Um, feel free to post, you know, some uh, questions in the comments below and I will talk to you later.